Hey yo, Stoic here. Hey, welcome to the Epoch. <laughs> Ran right into that door. Yep, we are playing a little bit. Lots of things have been happening here in the world, and you can kind of see a little bit of the new structures everywhere, a little bit of the landscaping everywhere else. You can even see a little couple docks out there. Those are shops over there, and look at that sunset. Wow. <laughs> I extended my render distance so I could see just a little bit more of everything. And I'm so glad I did because there's so much progress being made in this world. And you can kind of see a giant walkway being made. And the Nether Hub is being started off. My friend Snots has decided, let me make everything out of wool, which is great news for me. But also, that thing's caught on fire a couple times, which is pretty funny. But yeah, let's take a look at my wool shop because I got that built. So Halloween is over, and I think the scarecrows are going to have to come down. Everyone's been complaining about all these scarecrows just popping up, and well, it was me. It was me. I admit it. I admit it. All these scarecrows are mine, but they're gifts. They're gifts. Of course, everyone gets to keep them and or just, you know, tear them down or throw them away or, you know, just keep them up, which is just fine by me. But you can check out behind me, though, for Halloween, I did have... The Grave Digger event. The Grave Digger. So you pay three diamonds for a prize. So you're playing Trick or Treat here. You get a shovel. And you get to dig out one of these graves. <laughs> kind of morbid, but yeah, it's kind of a theme. But each one of these had either a trick or a treat. And most of the time, if you pick the treat, it was big. It was like a block of diamonds. The grand prize was three blocks of diamonds. So you were really cashing in. But then if you got the... The trick, well, you were almost certainly going to die. Yeah, there was no way around that one, uh, except one person did get stuck with a wooden sho shovel down in the middle of a hole, and so they decided to suffocate themselves. So I guess it worked out just fine <laughs> in order to get out. But yeah, it was a fun little thing. I'll have another one coming up, little mini game in the same plaza here in front of Casa de Stoic, and you can see here that I've got my wool shop all set up. I spent a long time making this map art right here. Yeah, it took a little while. This is all freehand, which was fun. It didn't turn out exactly the way I thought it would. The colors just are like kind of dull compared to what they are, you know, actually. So, but anyways, it was, that was fun to make. And here's the shop. Yep. Kind of matches the theme of the rest of my build right here, but I've got one diamond per stack. These things are easy for me to make, so I'm not going to charge everyone for a whole bunch of money for it. But yeah, um, let's see. Have I been... All right, I've been getting a couple little things here. Let's check. I think I know I got one over there. And yeah, maybe some orange, some red. All right, I saw that totem had some brown in it. Excellent. And yeah, that's probably it. Oh, I thought those were diamonds real quick. Well, that'd be pretty close. <laughs> And anyways, yeah, we can put this in my ATM here. Pretty pumped. I got that going, and I connected it to my house over here. And so I've got a little bit of decorating that needs to happen on this side. But you can see my bed's a little bit bigger now, which is which is nice. The view is still gorgeous. I love this view. And yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot left in here. I've been trying to change out a lot of my signs because I'm all these entities and frames nearby and everyone's got their own storage system it's i didn't want to get any more lag than we needed to so yeah all of these farms have been great so far they're all working fantastic i got plenty of bones still actually i've been chewing away at them just making the things that i want so we've been here a month and i think it's almost time to say goodbye to the starter base it's wonderful i've got a shop here so I'll always come back and hopefully other people will be continuing to build their things and I'm ready to set up shop somewhere else. I need to get an iron farm going, maybe a mob farm in combination, and a villager trading hall as well. So those are on my list of things to do, but I'm also going to need to get a concrete farm going as well. All this stuff, the to-dos never stop. But I have been doing some exploring, and I did want to share a spot that I think I'm going to call home. All right, so here is the cozy, cozy nether hub. Wool, wool. It is just all wool. I can't believe he did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't stand being here with the gas. I just don't want to be a part of anything that might happen if it were to explode. But you can see everyone's got their starter portals nearby and everyone's going to start branching off here in a little bit. But 
you know, you've probably seen this in another episode, but yeah, we're going to make our way down this hallway and it's actually not that far, which I'm pretty happy about because last time I was like a thousand blocks away in the nether and that was just too far, but this is going to be it over here and let's pop in and I'll see you on the other side. All right. We're here. Gorgeous. I've got, I've got a bunch of C. Oh, there it is. There's the spoiler. You've seen that before. We are really close to my future base and I love this area. The landscape is just fantastic. I actually spent about two hours clearing out all of these trees. <laughs> there was just a ton, maybe not two hours. As you can see, we've got all kinds of possibilities over here. In fact, I've got some ideas for some terraforming and even increasing maybe a new waterfall because that looks cool. That would be a cool entrance to, to go in. And look at this guy. <laughs> we got a turkey. <laughs> I didn't think it was loaded in, but here it is. <laughs> Made by Jacob Truth. You can check out his website. I'll have a link in the description as well, but look at this. We've got feathers, raw turkey. <laughs> this is just a, oh, there's some more. There, there they are. They're over here now. <laughs> yeah, I've asked Jay to make some turkeys for us. I'm going to load these into our world so that everyone has a chance to play with them, but I think they're just so... So funny. <laughs> and he actually made his own voiceovers for the sounds. But yeah, I'm thinking what I'm going to do first here is I'd like to bring up the sea level. I'd love to make this waterfall. I need to clear out some more stuff. So might have a time lapse coming up.
Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh. <laughs> well, that was a whole lot of fun. I have never done a build that big. And that took a long time. Sorry about the long time lapse. Yep. Let's keep floating down here. I really enjoyed that. I have never messed around a whole lot with, um, uh oh, starting to sink. Oh, <laughs> with, with water like that before. I knew I didn't want to just put a layer over top of this because it's actually a river biome right here. There's fishes that spawn. So I might take advantage of that in the future. I don't know what for, but maybe something. But this is just fun. Um, made my own glacial runoff from all that snow up there. And yeah, that was pretty impressive when this water came pouring out. I thought it was pretty sweet. Uh, I could only watch it when I was doing the replays. So <laughs> I was like, oh, that's so cool. But anyways, yeah, it wasn't too tough to make. And this will really help me with my future base long term. And I just thought, you know what? There aren't really any like rivers, so to speak, that um, like start up high and then go down low. Sometimes you get those streams, but they don't always count. You know, compared to earlier, there was a whole lot of additional trees out here, which was going to make it tough to do a whole lot of stuff. But now I've kind of got this little barrier, little isolated spot. And this is where my next build is going to be. But for now, you're going to have to wait until the next episode. So thank you for joining me on The Epoch. This was really cool, really challenging build. I'm really glad I did this. So yeah, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.